The rubber sector is an important part of Ghana's economy, contributing significantly to export revenues. In 2022, exports of technically specified rubber, processed natural rubber meeting specific industrial quality standards, and natural rubber sheets generated around 131.3 million US dollars according to the Ghana Export Promotion Authority. Trade Growth Development Authority was set up by Act of Parliament. Government established this authority. The, the purpose of the authority or the aim of government was to improve uh, about six tree crops. In the past, Ghana has depended on cocoa for more than a century. And you also know that cocoa can be grown in certain selected geographies, not everywhere in Ghana. But then government thought it wise that, looking at climate change, and then also human, illegal human activities like mining, uh, lumbering, and all those things, we need to start looking at how we can expand other tree crops. Because geographies where we plant cocoa can no longer grow cocoa. So cocoa production is going down and down and down. So government realized that the number of tree crops that have been in the hands of private sector, they are cashew, coconut, rubber, share, mango, oil palm. They've been in the hands of private sector. So government thought it wise, how can we expand this industry so that it can also bring in a foreign revenue uh, exchange like cocoa. Cocoa gives us about 2.8 million billion dollars a year. So we think that these six tree crops, if we develop them in the next six to seven years, we can also rake in about $12 billion to support cocoa. So government aim was to set up this authority to do two things, regulate the industry and also develop the industry. Ghana's natural rubber sector currently has four active processing factories across the Western, Central and Eastern regions. The largest, Ghana Rubber Estates Limited, operates two factories in the Western region with a combined capacity of 20 tons per hour. Other processes include Narubiz Limited, one ton per hour, Rubber Plantations Ghana Limited, 0.8 tons per hour, and Apex Rubber Processing, one ton per hour. A fifth factory, Yarik Company Limited, is set to commence operations with a capacity of one ton per hour. The Ghanaian rubber industry, initially led by state owned companies, underwent a significant transformation with multinational ownership, recognizing the sector's untapped potential and the need for local processing capacity. Gersel stepped in to support indigenous processes. In 2020, Gersel facilitated the establishment of Ghana's first indigenous-owned natural rubber processing factory through Gersel's credit risk guarantees technical assistance and advisory services. Gersel enabled the establishment of Narubiz Rubber Factory, a project financed by GCB Bank PLC. This project has been a resounding success with the factory producing 8,500 metric tons of technically specified rubber for export between 2021 and 2023, generating over 10.8 million US dollars in turnover. When we submitted our BP to GCB PLC, they looked at it and then they informed us that there is a guest out that can guarantee the loan for us. So if we could, as a company, meet the requirements of guest out, then they would be comfortable to provide us with a loan. We then contacted Gessal. They did a lot of um, discussions with us, telephone, field visits, technical assistance, to even to the extent that they treated our BP for us. And finally, they decided that they were going to guarantee 50% of the loan that GCB was going to give us. So when we got that green light from Gessal, GCB was more than happy to give us the loan. Several key financial institutions have partnered with Gersel to expand their lending portfolios in the rubber industry. 
banks such as Agricultural Development Bank, National Investment Bank, GCB Bank, Cal Bank, and others have leveraged Gersel's expertise and guarantees to finance various aspects of the rubber value chain in Ghana. This collaborative approach has significantly increased the availability of credit to rubber processors and exporters driving growth across the sector. An example of how our technical and advisory services have been successfully applied was how we supported a major commercial bank in structuring and financing a rubber processing business. Narobix is a new to bank um, facility. Um, we haven't done anything rubber and it was very primary level. Um, it was Gensal that opened our eyes into the, the transactions and the economic benefits that this will generate. It links us straight from the farm aspect to processing and then to export. In fact, the whole chain of the rubber industry was well understood with the help of Gessel. Today, we will confidently say Narobix is one of the, the key sort of transactions that we've done within the rubber sector, and that is yielding significant results. We think that if that model is taken onto the next and, and rubber manufacturing or rubber plantation, our story will be different. So primary agriculture and rubber with no exception, is a key area that we did not have much technical knowledge of. But the partnership we had with Gensel, um, we were able to onboard a new to bank um, customer like Narubix. Today Narubix is doing very well and it's because of the technical assistance and help we receive from Gensel to be able to take it to where it is today.